Hi. Okay. So this is, yes, it is April and I am reviewing the March Art Box. Sorry, I have been so busy. School is going to kill me. So I am in grad school and I'm taking accelerated courses for um, intervention specialists, which is like special ed teaching. I want to do like the behavioral ed kids, like the real rotten ones and the mean violent ones because they're not always mean and they're wonderful. Anyway, I digress. But so anyway, instead of like taking a three and a half years to get done, I'm going to take a year and a half if I don't kill myself first. So anyway, so that's my excuse and apology and whatever. So this is again from March and I just got the April one the other day so hopefully I'll review that before you know December and I'm just going to tell you a little bit about what they are. These are the turkey treats and they are by Happy Howie's and they just say that what goes into your dog treats is important as it's how much that they like them and he says it's they say it's lamb sausage in here and they left, left me a little note saying that they messed up because it's turkey i'm sure the dogs will love it either way again made in the usa that is something i love about the bark box is that stuff is made in the usa but it's still not regulated as much as you would think so still check your stuff okay and then this is um, it says perfect for fetch stuffing with peanut butter and strong enough to withstand powerful jaws. That's not going to be true. It's very, very flexible rubber. Bowman, who I guess is sleeping, would tear this up in 10 minutes. Anyway, um, to withstand powerful jaws, the safe made biggie bone is also dishwasher safe. That's nice. And made with the same safety and quality standards as children's toys. After all, we are pup parents. Anyway, yeah. If I ever have kids, they're going to be jealous of the dogs because the dogs are going to be treated better. So anyway, I love stuff like this. Unfortunately, I have one dog that's a little food protective. So if we ever do things like this, I have to put them in different rooms. Whereas my first two dogs, they could do the treat balls and run into each other and take each other's treat balls and there was no fight. Don't ever get three dogs. Two is perfect. Okay, so, and then there's this. This is Aussie Naturals Bacon. I had no idea what it was. And then they said bacon, I can kind of see it. All right. So anyway, bacon is usually reserved for treats, but why stop there? The squeaky bacon toy from Aussie Naturals was made just for bark boxers. Um, they know so much how much our pup scrappers love it. Okay, so I had a big leather thing. It's kind of made out of like leather. Um, I had a big one of these, oh, I don't know, more on Christmas that we got on sale somewhere. And we were like, the dogs are not going to be able to chew up. And that was even felt a little tougher. And it was bigger and it was stitched a little bit more. And within, it did at least last a day. But it was lasted a day with the dog who doesn't even destroy stuff that often. So, I'm not sure. But, it's fun. And it's kind of bacon. I don't think it tastes like bacon, though. I'm not going to try it. Okay, so again, and I don't know if this says it's made in the U.S. It doesn't even have like a... A tag or anything and then we have the Wagathas and this is made in Vermont um, they're happy dog biscuits they're made with human grade ingredients breakfast biscuits are wheat free lactose free and made with wholesome ingredients like apples bananas and cinnamon fun fact they're so good the humans at Wagathas eat them at their with their coffee secrets out guys it says so <laughs> bark box I think um, once a month they want to send you um, something that humans can eat as well. I have not tried these things yet, but the nice thing about Mark Box is I have such, I don't ever have to go to the pet store anymore except for, for our main food. Um, and we do like agility, we do classes, they're therapy dogs so they go. So we do treats a lot. We, they don't ever get treats like 
here at home, but if they're out doing something or if they're doing something that's like kind of stressful, they get treats. I'm wearing a Stitch Fix shirt that I'm sending back, so don't think that I'm just stealing stuff. So anyway, um, yeah, so we have so much stuff and we do so much. So the Bark Box is great because you have just like a surplus of stuff. It probably took me almost a, almost a year to get rid of all the stuff previously, but I only had two dogs then. And last but not least, this is probably what I was most excited about. Um, it's called Baker's Best Wild Pacific Maple Glazed Salmon with Blueberries Recipe. So we'll just call it Wild Pacific Salmon. Okay, so um, New Yorkers love salmon for breakfast because my dogs are New Yorkers. Um, whether in the form of lox and bagels or a side for eggs, Wild Pacific, Treats are made with salmon from frigid coasts of Canada and glazed with a bl maple blueberry compote. How gourmet is that? Maple blueberry does sound really yummy. So anyway, this does not say that it was made in the USA. British Columbia, I think. Made in Canada. Made in Canada. I guess I like Canadians. Maybe not bad. So, but this is like one of the first things that I've noticed that isn't made in the United States. So anyway, that's what we got this month. Um, I'm pretty happy and I think it's very unique set of stuff. I think that they are, and this is like kind of blonde of me or whatever, but I just realized that they do themed boxes. They didn't used to. So this one, and I never read these because the cards used to all be the same. But anyway, they're doing breakfast now. That was this month's box. And then they left a little note in with the thing saying that we wanted to let you know that we've included an item that was a little different than what's depicted on your info card. We are so excited to share this item with you, dear dog. We hope you love it as much as we do. Bum sniffs and belly scratches. Enjoy your bark box. Okay, so I think that's just where they said that the turkey sausage things were actually lamb. Which lamb would have been cool and exciting, but it's okay. I don't know. So, anyway, I have another bark box coming up the April one. I have already peeked in it, and I like this one better. The, um... Oh, oh, I I think I signed up for Bulu Box again if they let me because I have a coupon and sometimes if you're not a first time subscriber, places don't let you, so we'll see. But, so I'm going to get Bulu Box again, which I kind of liked, but it was a really good coupon. And then I know somebody who will take it, so I can just review it and they can take it. And then um, I signed up for the Conscious Box. So I'm not sure which one I'm getting. They have, um, Conscious has gluten-free... They have a gluten-free box, they have a vegan box, and they have just a regular box. So I'm not sure if I'm going to try the vegan, just because I've always wondered. I'm trying to eat meat less because I don't want to kill the animals, but I do love meat. Um, so I'm not sure if I'm going to try the vegan or if I'm going to try just regular. I don't know. Give me feedback if you guys are even still watching at this point. Okay. Well, anyway, I am going to go enjoy the rest of my night with my puppies, and I will see you guys later. Bye.